Hi, I'm Jackie from IELTSJackie.com. The first step towards answering the question, what is IELTS, is to explain what the letters stand for. IELTS stands for International English Language Testing System. The test has been created for people who want to work or study in English-speaking countries or work within organisations where English is the main language of communication. It's also for people who want to migrate to English-speaking countries. There are two versions of the IELTS exam, IELTS Academic and IELTS General. IELTS Academic, as the title would suggest, is for people wanting to study in an English-speaking country or apply for professional registration. IELTS General is for people wanting to work or to migrate to the UK, Australia, Canada or New Zealand. For help in deciding which one to take, visit the Which IELTS page of my website. I put the link in the notes below. You'll also find a video entitled Which IELTS on my YouTube channel. There's actually a third IELTS test called Life Skills. It's at a much lower level than the academic or general exam. Most of my lessons are too advanced for most people taking this test, but I'll quickly tell you about it so that you're at least aware of it. IELTS Life Skills is a test for people who want to apply for a UK visa and or immigration permission, usually for one of the following reasons. As a family member of a person settled in the UK, for leave to remain in the UK for an indefinite period, to get UK citizenship. Only speaking and listening skills are assessed, unlike the standard IELTS exam, which also tests writing and reading skills. You can find out more about it on the official IELTS website at www.ielts.org. Now back to the standard IELTS exam. A common question about IELTS is, where specifically is it accepted? As I've already mentioned, the IELTS academic exam and the general exam are an assessment of a person's overall proficiency in English, as well as an evaluation of their ability in each of the four elements of English, writing, speaking, reading and listening. As such, they are recognised worldwide as proof of ability to communicate in English as a second language at the band score level achieved by the candidate. The exam is taken by millions of people every year and is accepted by over 10,000 organisations around the world, including universities, professional bodies, immigration departments and multinational companies. The fact that there are more than 1,200 test centres in over 140 countries shows just how important the IELTS exam is. You will need IELTS for work, study and migration to the UK, Canada, Australia and New Zealand. It's also widely accepted for work and study in the USA. The British Council website has a very useful search facility that will give you valuable information on employers, governments, immigration authorities, professional bodies and educational bodies around the world that accept IELTS and the minimum band score requirements for each. I put the link to it in the notes below this video. Let me just clarify the position regarding the USA. While the USA has traditionally favoured TOEFL over IELTS, the IELTS qualification is now becoming more widely accepted in US universities, schools and within professional organisations. The British Council search facility I've just mentioned also covers the USA, so you can check out specific institutions and organisations there. The final part of my answer to the question what is IELTS is this. IELTS is your ticket to an exciting future. Visit my website ieltsjackie.com and watch my other videos for loads of free information, lessons and resources that will help you to get the score you need in the IELTS exam so that that future can be yours. I look forward to seeing you there.